Looks like we're in the clear. The capital's just through this desert. Is it true, then? The king is dead. Aye, and the guards are more concerned with the funeral than keeping the road safe. So now the monsters are roaming in broad daylight. No soldiers to stop them. Monsters, huh? I've certainly been hearing the stories. Uh, to say nothing of the vacant throne. There's a storm coming. Mark my words. That much is certain. What's the problem? They're bandits! Come on, let's see some respect for the militia! Us folk, we're commoners! No crown or church will save us! But Lord Luis will save us one and all. All we ask is no tribute. You're with us or against us? And if you're against us... An igniter? How'd they get rid of those? <laughs> come on, come on, Hank. Keep it moving up. That's right. Huh? Look at you. What have we got here? He's an elder. So he is. No horns, no knife is. Filthy gremlin like you. What you got in the capital? <laughs> oh, what's this? Looks like you've been holding out on us, boy. <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> Should have listened to us, chum. <laughs> now fall in line! Let's all get stuck like us! <sighs> you drew steel. I take it you are prepared to die by it. Stand us high! <laughs> This way! Who led these blackguards into the palace? My lord, are you hurt? Pike! A royal knight. A wench and nothing more. You lazy! You know nothing of true knighthood. I've pledged my life to the prince, and I'll not lose it to you! Milady, welcome back, and thank you for making the trip. After so long, I am only surprised anyone remained here who yet remembered me. Surely you jest, Milady. Pay me no mind. I heard off the king's death, 
The skyline is full of unfamiliar figures. Tis a testament to how long I've been away. It's the guard that's changed the most. It's just chaos and politics there, arguing over matters of succession. Feels like we've lost sight of who we're even protecting. Not to mention talk of monsters at the border. We've nowhere near enough soldiers to deal with them on top of everything else. After tomorrow, the city will calm. Once the formality of the funeral is passed, a new king will be crowned. After which, I suppose there'll be no further need of a search party. Not many even remember we were searching in the first place. I shall not suffer the defiance of my people's will. In my name art thou punished. Punished? Impressive. One of the royal family's dog. Rather poetic, I suppose. See how he is rewarded with your loyalty. I warned you, this is the price of defiance. Though I hadn't expected the king's own magic on my side. So be it. Rally behind me. I will shield you from injustice. Rise above birth and circumstance, for they mean nothing! Count Luis is our only what hope! What choice do we have? He'll kill any again! Oh God. Not much of a choice. Upon the day of the hero, whosoever has most earned my people's faith, shall ascend upon my throne to rule, according to my judgment. Be thou criminal, pauper, or noble, thy claim is decided not by stature or tribe. I shall bear witness. From this heavenly seat I am nigh omnipotent. Look to the faces carved upon this rock, and see thou the faces of the Chosen. I shall brook no sabotage or obstruction of this trial. Let all hear me and obey. The sun sets on old fossils. It is a new dawn, and its light shines upon Lord Luisa's king. Stand down! Damned meddlers. So your wish is to die, is it? Your bones will be monuments to Lord Luisa's glory! Ah, but Lord Luis has sent me here on an important errand. What errand? It seems I'll need considerable time to accumulate the magla. Until it's done, however, I'm afraid I'll have to borrow the cathedral. The day the King's morning ends will become the Day of Calamity. If you mean to interfere, then die. Strong. The souls of the dead do not return. He manipulates them as puppets with foul magic. Brace yourselves, everyone. <sighs>
Where'd that man go? Did he take soldiers into the cathedral? There should be a mausoleum nearby. Could you take his body there? Yes, right away. Take care with him, please. He was a dear friend. He gave his all for the king. For the royal bloodline. The least he deserves is dignity and death. My name is Hulkenberg. I have a question for you. That power you wield is not something they teach in the army. You are no ordinary soldier. And you? You're clearly more than a guard, Captain. I am a knight in the Crown's service. Commanding the guard is not my station's duty, but... These are dire times. A knight? And you pretend at soldiery. But that matter can wait. Alsace seemed to know you. Who is Alsace? We'll have time for debate after we apprehend that mage. He's after the Royal Scepter, I'm sure of it. The Royal Scepter? Please, someone, help! Please help. I've still got family inside. Did he trap civilians in the cathedral? Yes, my family and more. I don't envy their chances if he finds them helpless. I am honor bound as a knight to answer that plea. I would ask your aid as well, if you might give it. Does it not tarnish the royal knights to enlist the aid of strangers? I haven't the luxury of refusing able fighters. If I turn back here, I'd never be able to face Grius. Any objections, my friend? None that would stop you, I expect. Do you know me so well already? Let's just watch out for those accursed skeletons. Look! And then... Just like in the abandoned mines. What was that sound? Brace yourselves. It's collapsing. Look! The entrance! Damn it! Now how are we supposed to get inside? We'll not be getting in this way. That collapse was no accident. He means to hold our advance. Best to seek another way. And I have a plan to do it. A plan's more than I have. Right. Lead the way. Before we go any further, I would have my answers. We must speak of the man Luis executed. So, were you a friend to Grius? Yes. I knew him as Alsace. Arvin Alsace. He'd been engaged as a tutor to His Royal Highness, teaching him swordsmanship at the King's behest. I see. Yes. Well, it was back when I myself was serving as one of His Highness's personal guards. You're a personal guard for the Prince. I was. Now he is lost to me. Hmm. Which brings me to the heart of my concern. I hope you can give me the answer I seek. Why were you trying to kill Luis? Well... Revenge. The assassination is for His Highness. To avenge his death. Revenge? Not just for the Prince. Luis killed the King as well. Alsace was a calculating man. Callous, where softer hearts falter. He was not some wild-eyed revolutionary, driven by petty emotion. Why would such a man sacrifice all in the name of revenge? Who knows? Is that all you wanted to know, then? If nothing else, you were friends of Alsace. Once more, I would humbly request your blades at my side. I'd think you'd find surer allies among the Guard. You saw for yourself their failings today. A legion may be easily divided. A squad of few elites, however, moves as one. I'll have us into the Grand Cathedral. I know the way. Will you assist me? Naturally. How about you? 
Of course. Right. Not much point in asking, really. What's going on? We can't get through the door! Strange as he is, that <sighs> pale fellow's magic works. Good for rooting out the rats. That blasted mage set a trap! Not surprising. We knew he was expecting us. <laughs> and you still fell for it? At least you'll be in good company. What? I can't be! No way. of my failure then. The prince, for having lost him, you too would abandon me. Why did you leave me alone in the dark when you escaped with his highness? I have sought him for so many years to no avail. And now, I... <laughs> the one to send me to him now. Get up! Fight! I'm sorry. Please forgive me. No! You have it wrong! <laughs> the prince is alive! Hey! He's right. We do hunt Luis, but not for revenge. We mean to lift the prince's curse! <gasps> is that true? His highness is... still... Yes, he lives. So you have to keep fighting! <sighs> you mean... If that's true, then I... O oh, Lodestar, who wanders in solemn duty, O oh, thou anguished traveler, Thy long stagnant stance have finally been broken. Now choose thy path. You now my new calling, transcending all oaths. I choose life of my own will! Thank you. Thou hast chosen a noble parting. Henceforth, thy fears and insecurities become thy light. Thou art the brilliant star that shall illuminate the king's road. Now, awaken. My name is Aislin Pacelli Major Hulkenberg. I am knight, I am commander, and last of the honor guard! <laughs> Once more, I take up arms in my liege's name! Alsis. I will see you freed. Rest now, Alsace. We will protect Maria and his royal highness. Oh, isn't this crystal just like what we saw in the abandoned mine? It gives me the same nasty feeling. Come on, let's just destroy it. First he wakes the dead, and now this bizarre object. This man is dangerous and must be stopped. 
You said you were a royal knight, didn't you? Were you there, on the night the prince was attacked? Yes, though I was the least among the Order then. We saw His Highness afflicted with a horrific curse. But soon after, he mysteriously vanished. Alsace was one of His Highness's closest confidants when he disappeared. I'd wondered if they were both lost to us. But I could see it when we told you the truth. You believed the prince was alive, didn't you? I'd left my post to wander the land. A search party, at least in intent. News of the King's demise brought me back. Thence, we met. Now, onward. <sighs> Tis nothing. Let us go. Don't tis nothing me. You took a hard hit early on. Let's head back for now. But... <sighs> We've come this far, so he'll be looking to buy time. It's just as you advised before. We can't rush in if we're to see this through. What say you? We can withdraw for now, right? I say it's up to her. I'll trust your judgment. Homeward, then. Go to bed now. Captain, may I have a moment? Good night. I was hoping for a chance to speak before we set out. Since our meeting, I've done nothing but impose on you. Now, you risk your very life for this cause. It is no easy burden. It pains me to see. When I think of how this may yet save His Highness, I lose sight of all else. Such disregard ill becomes me. Don't worry about it. Tis kind of you to say. But that book, we met once before, on a carriage bound for the capital. Do you recall? Now that you mention it, I do. My apologies. I thought only to minimize casualties, one way or another. So, tis a novel envisioning an ideal world. Curious to see a utopian novel these days. I'd thought them long since banned. Ah, you needn't worry. I've no intention of taking it from you. I've sometimes wondered why such books were forbidden. Rumors say the Sanctists objected to their contents. Yet I wonder, how could a simple book have possibly stunned them so? Do you mind if I read a passage or two? written as if a personal account. This chapter seems to concern the system by which the nation's leader is decided. In this country, one cannot become even a statesman, much less sovereign, without the consent of the people. Those who aspire to statecraft must first solemnly swear before the people what they will do in service of their country. Should they earn title but break their word, they are denounced and stripped of power such is the authority of the people. In this way, it is the people who are the land's true king. Quite the opposite of our own country. Now I see why our upper echelons would abolish such texts. Had our lands embraced such accountability, perhaps His Royal Highness would not have suffered such a fate. No. As a knight, it's not my place to say. I must clear my head of these fantasies. In the end, clinging to a dream will do me no good. Oh, I suppose. Tis not so bad to dream now and then. It takes power to walk the path of our dearest hopes. Perhaps that is the purpose of this newfound strength. My dearest dream. Tis to save His Highness, even at the cost of my life. Nothing more. Met. Certainly. I see.
You see? Now then. That's it. I see. Come on, then. Uh -huh. Hold it. Sorry. Oh, 
All right. All right. Right then, let's get this plan underway. Iceberg, come out! Show yourself! Wow, that's some crazy echo. Kind of nice getting to let loose. Long as I'm yelling anyway. Louise! You think you're so bloody untouchable, you bastard? Hey! Big ugly sandwormy human thing! Even Hulkenberg wouldn't eat you! Rejected by Hulkenberg, the ravenous, all-devouring she-beast of the Knight's Order! Is this what we've come to? Saying whatever's on our minds? Well, so be it. Kanika, the sound of your wings keeps me up at night! Stroll, you think you're so smart! I am absolutely not old-fashioned or stubborn! You didn't even finish. Ah! Enough! Stop this infernal din! Are you free? Hmm? Speaking of... Listen! Hmm. <laughs> Wait! Uh. Speak no more. So then... Heed my words. Redance. <laughs> you... Apologies. Listen. <laughs> Listen. You have given me such strength. Truth is, <sighs> ah, it is you. 
sorry. If so... Why? Hmm? The truth is... So then... So...
Perhaps. No. Say. I thank you. Listen! Heed my words! Wait! Whoops. No. Yes. No. As a knight. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Do you see sense? Let's move. Here. <sighs> now then. It was you. <clears throat> you cur. <sighs> Redans. Redans. Speak no more. Heed my words. No. <sighs> Hail. All right. This time... Incredible. <laughs> I thank you.
My thanks. She. Now. A new power. Yes, I am your knight. Now then. <laughs> Received word from the Shadow Guard. Rodanth has been confined to an underground cell. For the time being, the chaos in the capital should be still. I don't think we're in the clear just yet. <sighs> Agreed. All that's changed is that Rodanth is removed from power. We spoke of it before. A knight's duty is to their oath, yet without a king. An oath might hold little weight to any one knight. And an armed force, disunified in purpose, is but a spark away from a raging mob. If the knighthood flounders further, whether clinging to power or simply self-preservation, a second Rodanth, or even a third, will surely emerge. Unless His Royal Highness the Prince takes the throne, there will be no true rebirth for the knighthood. Rest assured, I'll forge a path to the throne. Yes, well said. We shall reclaim our nation's future together. My duel with Rodanth left much clear. I proved I am not the woman I once was. It can only be the journey thus far that has changed me. You've helped me grow as a new person. Never again will I wield my power only to hide my own sense of inferiority. My convictions shall lead me, and I shall fight by their strength. Thus, I vow anew to use my power for you. I want to protect you too, Hulkenberg. Ordinarily, I would recommend a lifetime of knight's training first. But for you, a mere five years or so should do. Until then, let me be the one to protect you. The steadfast vassal, Hulkenberg, keeper and heritor of the Knight's virtues. By the grace of her newfound powers, work together to give truth to our hopes and fulfill thy destiny. I shall safeguard our land and our future. The man of the Shadow Guard paused before departing. As he bid me farewell, he told me he hoped to one day be my equal. A knight not merely in title, but in truest spirit. I never thought the day would come that I might see the honor in myself. As a knight, and as an ally, I will stay by your side, now and always. Truly, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hold on. Wait. No.
Claire. Hmm? The truth is... not. Indeed. That's why. All right. <sighs> mountains upon mountains of appeals from the people. How many days will this take to sort? <laughs> After all the trouble you took to flee politics. And somehow you're now the preeminent ladyship of your house. Such is fate. Hmm. Despite everything, this year has passed in surprising peace, hasn't it? Honestly, with the royal scepter disappearing like that, I feared more dissent. Perhaps after Luis, they swore they could never let that happen again. Either way, more and more are dealing with conflicts calmly and openly. Promising. It promises that I'll have an eternally cluttered desk. Hmm. Here, Your Majesty. I've brought in the next load. <sighs> and there we go. <laughs> Not half bad, right? Hey, 
Isn't the king supposed to be here? When did he? I've said countless times not to leave unannounced. Oh, oh this decoration doesn't suit me. How did Louis and Forden put up with all this damn finery? Your Majesty? Are you here? June is back from her inspection. Apologies, Troll. I'll look for him now. Wait! I'm coming with you! <gasps> oh, good grief! <laughs> Some things never change. Not that they should. I'd say life has changed plenty for us. <laughs> Yet somehow our captain's the same as he ever was. You were here. Speak of the devil. Let us return, your majesty. And I thought I had informed you that Juno would be back from her expedition today. I have a few stops left in the city, though. You do know I practically sprinted out the gates to find you. To settled, I shall come with you on every excursion. Not dressed like that, you won't. You know how we like snooping around, inconspicuously. Hmm. Point taken. He'll be fine. His Majesty is not about to fall prey to some alleyway scoundrel, surely. Right, Your Majesty. If you see Maria about, do slow down for a chat. She'll be shattered if she finds out she just missed you. Fine. Now, Your Majesty, once your business here is finished, please make sure you return to the palace with all swiftness. Come now. This I vow. What do you want to do? 